Do any of you guys ever drink anything purely because you feel cool drinking it? Look at Liquid Death's font. Look how awesome that is. Anyway, on a side note, I have quite the rant for you guys today. Today, I want to draw attention to something that I am confident that I am not alone with. I have had a tendency to hyper fixate on things. My brain has a tendency, once I start to think about something, some hobby, some task, whatever it may be, if I put enough mental energy into it, it will freaking high tail kick whatever should be on the top of my priority list out of my brain. There is no off button, there is no stopping it. It's just something that I've had to come to terms with. Now I see this really start to come to life whenever I start like a new project, a new aspiration, a new goal, because my mind is constantly filtering through what I can control right now, what the end result is going to look like, all the steps that maybe are needed to get to the end result, and every single minute detail that comes with whatever that goal is. Now, there are quite a bit of negative things that come with this. A lot of the things that should be on the front of my priority list, the things that I really should be focusing on, family, health, general well-being, um, balance within all of the tasks in life that I should be focusing on at the moment, they take a backseat quick. It really genuinely almost looks like you're obsessed from a third party perspective. Anybody looking at you, they're like, wow, he is like really into whatever that thing is. And I'm sure some of you can relate. I've definitely been told from time to time that my patient's department needs some work because I am so freaking tunnel visioned on whatever it is that's dominating my brain at that time. Now in this video, I know it's going to be a short one. I just want to put a quick but positive light on those that may also have hyperfixation tendencies and maybe make you feel less alone and actually maybe unveil some of the strengths that you have behind this. Now, if you've ever been told that hyperfixation is a negative tendency or that you need to work on it or that it's holding you back, I'm here to tell you that that was a lie. It really entirely depends on the lens that you see it through. Now, if I had a dime for every single time that I've heard someone say that they've created their radical results because they've had to get just a little bit insane in order to do it. You've gotta be a little bit gone to it. You're not all there. You've gotta be almost insane to your craft. Because they've had to really put it at the forefront of their brain and focus on nothing else to eliminate distractions. Now, just like me, you have probably experienced an unreal level of focus. You may also be the type of person that gets into a hobby and you have a really hard time just like dabbling in it and being very surface level in it. You wanna know everything that there is to know about that hobby. You wanna know all the intricacies, all the fancy gear that you can buy uh, for said hobby, whether it's biking, filmmaking, um, shooting guns, whatever it may be. If you're anything like me, you probably spend a lot of time on YouTube trying to figure out how to improve on your craft, how to refine it, how to get to the end result of what you want to do in a better, more efficient way. You're probably the type of person that wants to become entirely self-sufficient in their craft and you want to make results quick. You probably want to look back at your progress over the last three months and have it bring a smile to your face because of how far that you've come. You like to be referenced as the subject matter expert for whatever it is that your craft is and what you've got your tunnel vision set on. You like to be the person that people come to and ask questions about whatever that craft is. You take a lot of pride in your knowledge. If you're trying to learn a new skill or you're moving forward with a project, it is seriously like you are a bullet train headed Mach 5 in that friggin' direction. Nothing is stopping you. Trying to stop you is genuinely like trying to put out a forest fire with a squirt gun. Now, there can absolutely be negative sides to this, but if you look at it through the right light, your hyperfixation can become an absolute productivity weapon. Now, please don't hear me wrong. I am not trying to promote some sort of toxic hustle culture where you should just be all in all the time, hyper fixated. But I am trying to let you know that if you look at it through the right lens and you stop seeing this as some sort of negative personality trait or some sort of character flaw, hyper fixation, when looked at properly, can be used as a plow to just absolutely obliterate any obstacle between you and your desired outcome. Now, I really encourage you to actually surface an awareness around your hyperfixation. Notice when it's happening. Notice the signs that you're about to become hyperfixated and realize when to and when not to use it. Now, to be totally transparent with you, these topics just enter my mind. And I really appreciate you guys sticking here, watching my exaggerated hand movements and listening to my daily rants. Super appreciate you guys. Now, remember, your capacity is only as small as you make it. Never forget to balance your work and your rest. You are incredibly capable. You are wicked intelligent. Now go punch today in the face, you beautiful human.